Hello everybody, the moment you have been waiting for. This is issue 11, rather longer in the making than normal, but as a consequence it is rather fatter. We've even gone for perfect bound, so it's like a proper book uh, and a nice glossy cover. Much more about how we made this photo in the magazine. Uh, as ever, we start with the A to Z of news, and it really is the A to Z of news. Our car care adventures take us initially to a uh, Flexperts training day at the UK Detailing Academy. Then we head over to Italy for a couple of days at Labo Cosmetica, uh, which was an amazing experience. We learned an awful lot, and there's an awful lot to see there. Uh, then we went to a Soft 99 day at the Haynes International Motor Museum, which was good fun, learning all about the Kujutsu uh, line of professional ceramic coatings. Um, we have a day at Colourlock and we have a day at Kelly Harris in Kent at KDS Caltech. Really interesting one. This is going to build into a big review of the UDOS coming later. Then we had a bit of a challenge from Turtle Wax who were challenging basically a professional using a machine polisher uh, versus an amateur with a vigorous bit of hand rubbing. Results are expected as you would say. Um, so new products, we have tons of new products. Big difference this time, we've insisted on getting all the products in so we've been able to have a little play with them. Um, it allows us to do better photos and allows us to give some sort of feedback, although not full reviews as ever. Um, so as you see there are lots and lots of new products. We have a mixture of sort of little bits and then sort of bigger features on products we've got more to say about. Um, so we'll carry on there rapidly. We've got a section specifically for sanitizing products because obviously uh, it's kind of the thing of the moment. Then hardware, lots of really interesting bits of hardware from all over the globe um, and including things like dip rags. Interesting, interesting concept there for uh, matte wrapped cars. Kranzel, we do a full service guide of a Kranzel K7 non-TS. Uh, very kindly they came over and gave us a run through, we got loads of photos and very handy information. Ice blasting, Jason went all the way to somewhere very foreign whose name escapes me but I think it's somewhere like Slovakia or somewhere and um, learned about ice blasting machines which we first saw at Decon last year in Germany. Then we have a big UDOS review, uh, we spent a whole day with the UDOS, fascinating piece of kit, uh, look forward to seeing feedback when they start getting into end user hands. We do a twin test between Flex and Henry or pneumatic cordless hoovers. Uh, we test uh, seven different methods of getting rid of dog hair, uh, interesting topic. Uh, the mega test itself is heavy cut compounds, specifically for use by Rotary, but we uh, broadened the, uh, uh, the kind of brief, so to speak, to talk about it. And what I'm going to do to make sure that nobody sees who the winner is, I'm going to hop through and we go straight on to motorbike detailing. So we've got a nice feature, very bold, on how to look after a motorbike. So that's useful for normal car valeters and detailers who occasionally have a motorbike in but also if you are a motorcyclist yourself. Um, moving forward now, insect removal. So removing dead insects and their carcasses from your car, water spot removal, and finally tree zap removal. But this is more about the different types of tree zap and how uh, you can't treat it all the same way. Ask Alan, lovely Alan Medcraft has kindly answered some of your questions in the agony, aunt or slash uncle, uh, depends if he's wearing a dress or not. Uh, we have a nice big uh, photography section this. So we've got a guide to Lightroom uh, using a photo you may recognize from a previous issue that I'm very proud of. Um, we also have top tips for photographers. So that's all in there too. And again, you'll recognize some of the shots. Our uh, interview of this issue is Mike Phillips, lovely man. Uh, as anybody in the detailing environment knows who he is, he's uh, perhaps the most famous detailer in the world. Um, really interesting interview, great insight, lovely guy. Um, moving on, we've got an article on blogging. We've got articles on wellness. We even have got some sort of occupational health thing. Uh, we have had help with that, obviously. Uh, you'll notice cartoon styled images of there of Ian because it makes him look more handsome. Chemistry Corner is all about pH. Uh, we've also got an interesting and important article on microfibers. And then we're down to another myth buster, which is carbon ceramic breaks. Uh, what breaks them down? Are they vulnerable to this? Are they as delicate as everybody says? Interesting. And we've got a pair of breaks from um, APET in uh, Nurburg, uh, who kindly gave them to us because they're terribly expensive, even used. Um, information on COVID and the experience that professionals had in COVID. We've got Car Care School. This is an interesting article on how car care is being 
put into mainstream education. Long may it last. Um, then we have the showcase section, and it's a bit different this time. We've got uh, Audi A5 ins, Audi A5 specifically, and it's had kind of almost everything done to it. We cover in great detail everything from paintwork correction, caliper painting, uh, even flatting off bits of clear coat that have started to go. So really interesting article there. Um, I've done a little behind the scenes of how we created the photograph for the front cover. We have a great article with Gareth Fisher uh, on the uh, very cool, um, if very silly, G-Wagon, uh, G63 AMG Brabus, um, short wheelbase soft top. Then we recount the adventures we've had before lockdown, going around assessing PVD members all around the country. Uh, lots of fun and games there. Um, and then we have our PVD directory section as per normal. Um, and that is issue 11. It's 132 pages all in. It's available for £6.99p, uh, including UK delivery. International delivery is available. Um, and we really, really hope that you enjoy it. Thank you very much.